okay guys welcome back to the fifth video of this playlist and uh, we are almost at the end of the journey of this tutorial of brain mri segmentation and in this video i am going to show you how you can generate or you can train your output or the model to be precise as well as accurate using the gpus as well as uh, on the cloud server offered by kaggle so before we move on to that let's complete some of our code and uh, then let me show you how to do that on kaggle so input size would be obviously input underscore sorry i am, I am underscore width comma height comma 3 and then the decay rate that is uh, learning rate by the uh, divided by epochs then we are going to do that but before that let's just set our optimizer that is opt equal to atm adam optimizer then lr would be the learning rate then beta 1 beta 1 would be 0.9 that is industrial standard beta 2 would be 0.999 that is also true and i don't think beta 3 would be necessary but epsilon yep epsilon would be equal to none because we don't require that and ams grad yep that is required that would that should be false for right now yep and now what we are going to do is we are going to compile our model that is pile by optimizer that is opt then loss would be our that we have defined earlier that is dice coefficient loss and matrix would be matrix uh, let's parts, uh, pass them as a tuple would be binary accuracy obviously let's go to c u r i c y and i o u that we have defined earlier and dice coefficients so these are our parameters for compilation of our model then one important thing is callbacks that we are going to define that are nothing but the model checkpoints uh, named as unit underscore brain underscore mri underscore okay just unit would be fine I think so HDF5 so HDF5 is an uh, extension for our weights or the model that we are going to train verbose would be equal to 1 obviously and then save best only okay let's make it true so we are going to get the best model out of our iterations okay let's check for this out that has been generated by our lovely tab 9 okay so what we are doing over here is train gen and we are going to pass train gen and then steps per epoch i think so let's get that as length of df underscore train that we have already seen earlier divided by uh, batch size okay epoch should be epochs that is e p epochs verbose should be i don't think so verbose would be necessary right now 
okay callbacks yes callbacks are important callbacks that is callbacks we have already defined that then validation data yep validation data is required that we are going to write as test underscore gner and then validation step validation steps that would be same as uh, train steps as steps per epoch sorry so that would be length of df underscore val divided by batch size b a a t c s yep all right guys so what we have done over here till up till now is we have defined all these things so now what i would suggest you is to go to kaggle let me show you just go to kaggle and uh, go back to the, uh, the brain mri segmentation and create a new notebook as you can see over here that a new notebook has been created mm, let me show you so over here we can see that accelerator here we are getting two gpus as well as a tpu if you want to use and in that case uh, we are also seeing over here the input is already being given the output can be generated directly from here and we can get up to let me show you 30 hours of gpu as well as 20 hours of tpu per week so what i would suggest you guys is go to kaggle and uh, load just load the notebook that uh, can be done from here import notebook and select or drag and drop from here that we have coded till up till now and uh, let me show you guys how i have done this because my laptop is quite incompatible with uh, gpu servers and uh, the gpu on the my laptop is not quite compatible with uh, this kind of high-end processing so this is the way i have found for you guys and uh, don't forget to check out my profile on kaggle too where i have i've been to highest rank of 820 and i am a data set expert over there so apart from that let me show you guys how we can do that so this is my notebook don't go on the names so the thing i have done over here is the same that we have done till up till now all the things are same just a simple change would be over here instead of c drive or d drive that we are using we are just going to use double dot that indicates the database of kaggle and getting input lgg mri segmentation kaggle 3m and all these things would be the same things and uh, let me show you guys how i have done this and uh, if we see over here that i have seen the model dot summary that have generated all these layers that we have seen up till now and i have trained my model on 500 epochs but i would not suggest that i would suggest up to 400 epochs would be fine thing and uh, as you can see over here uh, a thing that on 150 epochs the model was quite accurate and uh, let me show you this yep uh, each step takes almost 9 seconds I would no not 9 seconds yep uh, 969 milliseconds uh, the binary accuracy was 0.99 which is good IOU was 0.86 so it's quite decent as to say the validation loss was 0.89 that is good and uh, the validation iou was 0.80 so overall our accuracy would be i i guess 0.86 on 150 box but uh, i have trained and i have some tuned some hyper parameters and uh, while doing that i was getting up to 94 percent accuracy on this data set which is quite accurate for this data set and uh, i have done that using 400 epochs and changing some batch size to 64 and learning rate to uh 
okay i have kept till learning green save so we can do that and uh, let's go back down and uh, let me show you this part so this is the part where we are going to plot our history and each and everything so before doing that let me show you just for two epochs so that we can get an idea okay run all it the session is starting it will just take a couple of minutes if you are first time and uh, it will take around 10 to 20 seconds if you are using kaggle quite frequently so guys as you can see over here the draft session has started and uh, cpu is currently at 35 percent and uh, as soon as we are going to hit our uh, training part that is over here then we are going to see that epochs is 1 and 2 and now the GPU and CPU both are at 100% as you can see from over here and the uh, training has started as you can see and uh, as the training finishes I'll show you how the mo model has performed okay guys so over here after two epochs the loss was minus 0.33 binary accuracy obviously 0.99 and iou that is our primary uh, loss or what we can say primary um, primary optimizer or primary calculator that is uh, calculating our accuracy that would be our iou that is 0.2 I know that's pretty small but currently I, when I'm recording this video I have just uh, run two epochs but if we are going to run almost 400 epochs then we are going to see a very good uh, results okay so that's it for this video and in next video we are going to evaluate our model on some parameters okay uh, let's do that over here only as you can see the accuracy uh, the loss is decreased and the accuracy is increased and here that we can see that model dot checkpoint this is going to output our file let me show you load more so this is our output or we can download it from here as well as we can use this uh, directly into our file so this is like loading our model and then in uh, the next video we are going to load this model onto streamlit that is a server okay so let's just test it our images and uh, okay the loss was this the test iou as you can see over here that is 0.98 that is very very high even i am shocked right now that it is 0.98 okay let's see this i am sure that is it is going to be down but uh, as soon as we are going to run this epochs for 400 epochs then let me show you i have a screenshot of that okay sorry the screenshot has been misplaced but some of our images would be like this as you can see over here the prediction the original mask it is accurate but not that accurate for just two epochs so when we are going to run this for four, 400 epochs it will show approximately around 90 to 95 percent accuracy and that is going to take around uh, as per my calculation that is going to take around 9 to 10 hours to train if you have a uh, good GPU on your local machine or on Kaggle it will take uh, approximately 11 and a half hours that was my calculation and that took almost 11 and a half hours to predict and uh, to calculate so what we are going to do next is that I have already downloaded this 400 epochs model under the name of unit brain MRI segmentation HDF5 and in next video we are going to code it 
and uh, check out some of the evaluations and then we are going to deploy it on our streamlit application till then stay tuned guys